Hey guys, Cactus here. Welcome to this brand new video, I hope it helps you when playing Tower of Hell. We have all been in the position where you'll look down to your coins total and notice that you are coming up to a significant number. Whether that be a milestone like 10,000, an amusing number like 666, or a special number that has personal meaning to yourself. But hitting that number exactly, can be difficult to achieve if you are not quite sure how to get the remaining coins required. This short guide, will walk you through the best tactics for obtaining specific values of coins to reach your desired coin total. These are the tactics I used to exactly reach 300,000 and 333,333. You can gain coins up to a maximum of 300 in one tower if you have access to a VIP server. But before I go into more detail on VIP servers, let's first go through what most players can get in either noob or pro towers. If you only have access to noob or pro towers, then there are a limited amount of coin values you can achieve. In noob towers, you can get values of 2, 11, 25, 44, 69, and 100. And in pro towers, you can additionally achieve values of 1, 6, 15, 27, 43, 62, 85, 111, 140, 173, 210, and 250. When we combine all of these, that's a possible 18 values you can achieve. If you require a different value to one of these, then you will have to work out what combinations you need to use to get to your desired total. For example, if you require 31 points to reach your desired coins value, then you could play a noob tower up to the third stage, and then reach the second stage in a pro tower. Of course, quite often there are multiple combinations to achieve the same goal, so pick the one that is easiest for you. When you climb up to the stage you want, just wait for the round to end to get the desired coins. And please remember to stop climbing when you reach the stage that gives you your required coins. It is pretty easy to forget and overshoot your goal. If you do overshoot, the only option is to quit the game before the time runs out. You can always check the mini tower on the side of the screen to make sure you are at the correct stage, and have the correct coins. To view my accompanying stage points spreadsheet, please visit my link in the description. Now let's move on to those of you with access to a VIP server. There are a total of 115 possible values available in a VIP server, which makes achieving your desired total much easier. As you can see the higher the value, the less options you have. So, my advice is it's probably best to wait until you need a value under roughly 200, before trying to make it up to your desired total. The yellow colored numbers in this chart are a good place to start trying from. But whichever number you start trying from, just make sure that you don't overshoot it if you play on long towers. This can easily happen if you don't concentrate. And as I said before, if you overshoot, you'll need to quit before the timer runs out. As a player with access to a VIP server, you have an added advantage in that you can slash skip as soon as you reach the stage with the correct coin value. And remember, you can view my accompanying stage points spreadsheet which shows all the coins values for each length of tower. Just visit my link in the description. Anyway, I hope this video helps you obtain the coins total you want. Thanks for watching my video, and please remember to like and subscribe to see more content like this in the future. Until next time, this is Cactus signing off.